Thanks a lot for coming and speaking to Only Aki's. I'd like to talk briefly about what happened at the end of last season. Obviously, just finished in second, just missing it in promotion. What was that like for the team? Um, it was a huge disappointment. I think uh, after that effort we put in, we got ourselves into a good position going into the last uh, six games. Um, and then I, I suppose our inconsistencies caught up with us in that last uh, stretch, uh, quite frustratingly. Um, and uh, the final game, we were going into that one knowing that a Hearts win would take it away from us anyway. But um, I think uh, it was just going to be too much for us uh, to, to, to recover it. Um, we had our opportunities earlier in the season. We didn't get a result against Hearts when we, we led them on several occasions. So that ultimately was the difference between the teams, was, was a couple of the results they got against us. Um, so that was frustrating. Um, and I think it was a real disappointing from the group. By the same time, I think the, the players were quite proud of themselves because they came and pushed it so close when Hearts had started as a club, started to push more resources into it. We as a club uh, uh, were still evolving as a team. As the season went on, on the back of relegation, that can quite often be quite difficult. And it can, uh, there was a bit of a hangover from that in our early season results. So I think in the end, we actually finished quite strong and we maybe found some new things within the squad uh, that finished the season that kind of led us into a, kinda, a really positive sort of close season as it's been. A lot of the girls we spoke to earlier on said that finishing second was fuel, was hunger for them to get that promotion this season. I'm assuming you're of the same mindset. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a desire to go and win the league. We've done it before. We can do it again. Um, the, the game's changed significantly since that 2016 season. Um, the squad's changed significantly. There's only a couple of people left. Um, and I think the challenge is much tougher. But I think we have evolved as well. I think we as a team have evolved. I think we've... Uh, bit by bit improved uh, off the pitch, we've been bit by bit improved on the pitch and I think it's just, um, it's going to be hard this year definitely but I think it definitely gives us that extra motivation. The difference this year is there's more than one route to get promoted whereas last year it was it was win the league or not. Um, I would have fancied us in a playoff at the end of the season against the teams uh, that, that would have been potential opponents uh, but that's a route that's there this year so we've got to kind of uh, plan for everything. Absolutely. Plenty of new faces have joined obviously Aki's this season. Um, how are they fitting in with the new team? How are they gelling with the girls? I think they're fitting in really well. I think a few of them were already friends with players uh, through football before. I think out of the five uh, new signings from out, out with the club, uh, only one I hadn't worked with before myself. So that was quite easy for them and myself, knowing their attributes beforehand, knowing what they could bring us to, and that's why we targeted them, um, because we felt there was a couple of areas that we needed to really strengthen. And I think um, they will bring a, a mix of experience, which we, we felt we lacked in one or two matches across the depth of the squad, mm -hmm. and uh, a, a real desire to go and defend and go and make things happen and not being beaten. And I think that's where we slipped up a couple of times last year, where if you look at a couple of the results that we dropped points, I think that maybe that little bit of extra determination, that extra I'm not going to be beaten here, uh, is where we fell a little bit short. And I think those players will certainly bring that uh, to us. Georgie McTeer in particular, Heather Richards will make a big difference in that area, and Hannah Coakley as well. I think they all have good Premier League experience, and I think they're at an age where they're ready to really... Um, still develop but will we'll provide us that experience in the team as well. What was the media day like today? We've heard before it's been plenty of laughs, goal celebration gifts. How have you found it personally getting involved? Uh, in yeah, I think it's, it's been fun. I'm sure I've been a bit of a few jokes along the way. I'm quite happy for that to be the case. I'm sure there'll be something I could lost out in a, a pop, popular vote earlier on there to, <laughs> to Fiona. But that's fine, you know, it, it's, it was a great opportunity for us to gel the team because not only we had, did we have obviously the new players, we had uh, one or two others that, are, that were new last year and, and things like that and hadn't done anything like this. So it kind of these things kind of small things like this can help the team get to know each other and spend time with each other because other than being on the pitch or coming in and meeting for a game the players don't get to know each other out with their kind of social groups uh, or their tra people they travel with and things like that so I think that's really helped the players just spend time together um, uh, it's a good opportunity today with the way the fixture fell um, uh, and we're able to use all the different spaces here at the stadium so it kind of fell into place uh, it's something that uh, Bobby has talked about for a while but just waited for just wanting that right opportunity and I think it's worked out quite well and I think the players have had a great time and that's that's most important because I think if they're enjoying themselves they're more likely to 
uh, project a good image of the club and I think that's been part of uh, our recruitment is we've got a good image and the players project a good image out there um, uh, to, to potential new players and potential uh, uh, people want to partner with us off the pitch and I think that, that can only be of benefit to us in the long run.